The private sector commission is doing what the government of Guyana is not, recognizing the importance and weight of opinion polls put out by agencies like Transparency International. In a release on perceived corruption in countries around the world by Transparency International in December last, Guyana scored a lowly 28 points out of a possible 100 to be ranked 133rd out of 176 countries that were assessed. Among the indicators used would be the ease with which one can do business here or if bribes and kickbacks are solicited in return for services which are either free or attract small fees. The private sector body called the local Transparency International body for a meeting recently to discuss the publishing of that index, saying that reports like those do no good for a country's image. In fact, the PSC thinks that the results are exaggerated since the Corruption Perception Index is just that, meaning it is based on perception and not on reality. The Private Sector Commission, the PSC, believes that the methodology used by Transparency International does not take into account the realities in Guyana. The Private Sector Commission, after agreeing that corruption is indeed of concern in Guyana, said it will work with the local chapter and other stakeholders to ensure that the Public Procurement Commission and Integrity Commission are made operational. The PSC said it will also work with TI Guyana to tackle money laundering, push for the appointment of an ombudsman, and try to help in bringing the Access to Information Act into operation. Transparency International Guyana, for its part, acknowledged that absolute corruption is hard to quantify since the sources of information are not so wide-ranging and may only come to light during an investigation or prosecution, among other ways. The government of Guyana had dismissed the report last December with Finance Minister Dr. Ashni Singh saying then that government has taken significant and commendable measures to strengthen its institutions and legislation that fight corruption. For Capital News, Raul Collins.